jokes about life. Two young guys appear in court after being arrested for smoking dope. The judge says, you seem like nice young men, and I'd like to give you a second chance. Instead of jail time. I want you to go out this weekend and try to convince others of the evils of drug use. I'll see you back in court Monday. On Monday. The judge asks the first guy, how did you do over the weekend? Well, your honor, I persuaded 17 people to give up drugs forever. 17 people. That's wonderful. How did you do it? I used a diagram, your honor. I drew two circles like this, oh oh. Then I told them that the big circle is your brain. Before drugs and the small circle is your brain after drugs. That's admirable, says the judge. Then he turns to the second guy. And how did you do? Well, your honor, I persuaded 156 people to give up drugs forever. Wow. Says the judge. 156 people. How did you manage to do that? Well, I used a similar diagram, the guy says. I drew two circles like this, oh oh. Then I pointed to the little circle and said, this is your a hole before prison. Chuck Norris jokes. Chuck Norris understood the ending of Lost. Yo mama jokes. Yo mama's so fat. When she stepped on a train track, the warning lights went on. Chuck Norris jokes. People have near-death experiences. Death has near Chuck Norris experiences. Chuck Norris jokes. Chuck Norris once caught AIDS, but then he let it go. Black humor jokes. Guy having sex says damn bitch, there should be a law against sex this good. To which the girl replies I think there is daddy. Marriage jokes. During the wedding rehearsal, the groom approached the priest with an unusual offer, look, I'll give you $100 if you'll change the wedding vows. When you get to the part where I'm supposed to promise to love, honor and obey and be faithful to her forever, I'd appreciate it if you'd just leave that out. He passed the minister a $100 bill and walked away satisfied. On the day of the wedding, when it came time for the groom's vows, the priest looked the young man in the eye and said, Will you promise to prostrate yourself before her, obey her every command and wish, serve her breakfast in bed every morning of your life, and swear eternally before God and your lovely wife that you will not ever even look at another woman, as long as you both shall live? The groom gulped and looked around, and said in a tiny voice, Yes, I do then lean toward the priest and hissed, I thought we had a deal. The priest put a $100 bill into the groom's hand and whispered, she made me a better offer. Dirty jokes. A girl goes into the doctor's office for a checkup. As she takes off her blouse, the doctor notices a red H on her chest. How did you get that mark on your chest? Asks the doctor. Oh, my boyfriend went to Harvard and he's so proud of it he never takes off his Harvard sweatshirt, even when we make love, she replies. A couple of days later, another girl comes in for a checkup. As she takes off her blouse, he notices a blue Y on her chest. How did you get that mark on your chest? Asks the doctor. Oh, my boyfriend went to Yale and he's so. Proud of it that he never takes off his Yale sweatshirt, even when we make love, she replies. A couple of days later, another girl comes in for a checkup. As she takes off her blouse, he notices a green M on her chest. Do you have a boyfriend at Michigan? Asks the doctor. No, but I have a girlfriend at Wisconsin, why do you ask? IT jokes. A man goes inside a pet shop and starts to move around the cages to scout the pets. He sees a monkey with a price of $5,000 and goes to the merchant to ask for details. Hey mister, 
the monkey a euro what does it know to worth that much money? Well, it knows Windows 95, 98, 2000, and also knows Word, C++, Visual Basic and Last but not least, it knows how to play computer games. Good monkey, eat a euro trademark s. Worth the money. He goes and finds another monkey with a price of $10,000 and Again he will ask the merchant. What does this monkey know? It knows Linux. Unix, Corel and AutoCAD. Nice, even I don't a euro trademark t know those things. On a last scout. Run he finds another monkey just sitting there with a price $20,000. The story. Repeats, and he goes with a lack of confidence to ask the merchant for details. And what does this monkey do for that ridiculous amount of money? I never saw her doing anything, but the other two call her project manager. Jokes about men. A priest and a shepherd from Australia participate in a TV game. After answering all the questions, there is a tie. So both are given one final assignment. It is to write a poem in three minutes, using the word Timbuktu. It is city in Africa. The priest returns with the fruit of his inspiration, I was a father. All my life, I had no children, had no wife, I read the Bible through and through on my way to Timbuktu. The poem makes a great impression, and the priest smells a sweet victory. But then comes the shepherd, with his winning masterpiece, when Tim and I to Brisbane went we met three women cheap to rent. They were three and we were two, so I booked one and Tim booked two.